Hey everyone, this is FaZe and welcome to my channel. With me today here is the iPhone 15 Pro Max in the new natural titanium color. I did an unboxing of this iPhone 15 Pro Max a few days back, so you can click the link above or in the description below to check that video out. I not only just unboxed the natural titanium, but I also unboxed the blue titanium, which is by the way, a beautiful color. So check that video out. It's a very quick unboxing video and I give my thoughts on both this color and the blue titanium color. But anyways, today I'm gonna do a what's on my iPhone 15 Pro Max video. So without any further ado, let's check out what's on my iPhone. So starting with the home screen, I've got the weather and the date right up top. Then I've got the time obviously. And then I've got two widgets. I've got the you know, widget for my Tesla, so it shows me how much battery I've got, and then the activity rings. And I clearly need to do better in you know, closing out those circles. So I like to keep it very nice, simple, and clean. I don't have, wanna have too many widgets. Um, so this is how I've set up my log screen. So now let's swipe up. All right, so now we are in my main home screen. In my main home screen, I don't like to keep it super cluttered with a ton of apps everywhere. I kinda of just wanna have my main go-to widgets and a few of the apps that I use predominantly the whole day. Um, so right up top, we've got the weather widget and I like to know exactly what it's like, you know, hour by hour, I live in Atlanta and the weather is really bipolar here. So it's good to know uh, what the weather's like. And then I've got my uh, calendar widget right underneath it. So it shows me what day it is and you know, what other events I've got coming up next. And it's a stacked widget. So right underneath that, I can see the whole overview of the whole month. So it's nice to just kind of glance at very quickly. And then right next to it, I've got my Tesla widget. It tells me uh, right then and there uh, what my range is. Then right underneath that, I've got my mail app, my maps, my photos app, my camera, my notes app, and then I've got a folder for social. So here I've got all my social media apps, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, uh, Facebook Messenger, X, Twitter, Twitter X, whatever you wanna call it. TikTok, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, and Buffer. And Buffer, if you don't know, is a social media management uh, tool. It allows you to schedule posts. So that's what I use. I am a digital marketing consultant. So having an app like this is absolutely essential. All right, so let's close out of this. Then I've got my YouTube app because I love YouTube um, and I happen to be a YouTuber myself. So that's gotta be there. And then I've got YouTube Studio. YouTube Studio is really nice because I can at a glance see all my analytics, how my videos are performing, you know, and stuff like that. So this is something that's really, really nice to have. Um, and obviously I can't show you every single thing, but at a quick glance, I can see how my videos are performing, you know, what comments I'm receiving, and I get to engage with you guys right through the YouTube Studio app. So this is very nice to have. Next, let's go on the next screen. And I've got my wallet app, and then I've got Pick connect. So basically we have cameras all around the house and I can quickly access all those cameras and see live footage from the Hick Connect app. I've got my clock, then I've got the Nest app because you know, I like to adjust the temperature around the house and I can do that right through my phone. Then I've got the MyQ apps, both the MyQ and the MyQ community. This allows me to open the gate to my neighborhood and also open the garage right from my phone. Right next to that, I've got Studio, which is a really nice app. I create all my thumbnails actually from this app. It's by GoDaddy. It's a beautiful app. If you want to create thumbnails and just do some very efficient and quick and easy graphic design stuff, this is the app. I think personally, I think it's better than Canva. So go check it out. It is a free app. So um, let me know what you think. Then I've got control four. So around the house, we have smart accessories and smart lights and smart speakers and all that good stuff. And rather than using the Apple home app, I use the control four app. Um, so that's right there. I've got Yelp because whenever I go to a restaurant or if I have to choose a restaurant, I like to know the reviews. I like to see the pictures of the food. I like to see, you know, the star ratings and everything else. I live by it. So all my friends and family know this. If I'm going to a restaurant, I'm going to Yelp it and I'm going to, you know, check out the pictures. So Yelp is one of my favorite apps. Next, I've got the Hue app, the Philips Hue app. Um, it allows me to, you know, tweak the lighting in my bedroom, the loft, the library, um, and you know, change the colors up and stuff. So like to have that on my screen. Then I've got the Amazon app, which is a blessing and a curse. So I've got Lightroom, that's where I edit all my pictures. I've got my books app. Um, currently I'm reading the Elon Musk book. Um, it's really good so far, I'm only 25% into it, but it's very intriguing and it's just really exciting to see how he started SpaceX and Tesla and PayPal and his just overall journey. So, so far, so good. 
I'm also reading uh, Sherry Lapina's Everyone Here is Lying. I love reading suspense thrillers. All right. Then I've got ChatGPT because let's be honest, AI. We all need it. We all want it. It makes our life a lot easier. So I do a lot of copywriting as well since, you know, like I said, I am a digital marketing uh, consultant. So ChatGPT is where I get to really edit a lot of letters and emails and, you know, social media posts. So ChatGPT really helps me out. Then I've got the news app and settings. So this is basically my home screen. It's very simple. It's very minimal. I like to keep it as clean as possible. Oh, and I almost forgot. I've got the Apple TV widget right up top. Let's see what I'm currently watching. American Horror Story. Uh, it's, it's almost October. It's basically Halloween season. Um, so I'm watching American Horror Story. I'm also watching, you know, Full House here and there. Only Murders in the Building. It's a fantastic show, by the way, with Selena Gomez and Steve Martin. Baby Daddy. I'm about to start The Changeling, which is a new Apple TV Plus app. But, you know, and I love watching movies and TV shows. So please, in the comments below, let me know what you recommend because I'm always looking for a new TV show or movie to watch. So just let me know. Comment below. Let me know. All right. So now let's just quickly go through my app library. Um, let's start with social. These are all my social apps. I think everything else I've pretty much shown you. Then creativity. I've got CapCut, which is very helpful in creating TikToks and Instagram reels. I've got captions, which is a really nice app where you can literally add captions as you're speaking. So this is nice for short term content. Face app, because let's be honest, sometimes we have a pimple or something on our face that we want to get rid of. And um, this app comes really handy when it comes to stuff like that. Then I've got this app called Face Labs, Google Photos, obviously Hit Connect, Layout, Lightroom, LumaFusion. I don't really use LumaFusion on my phone, but on my iPad, LumaFusion is my go-to video editing suite. And Pexels and Unsplash are both kind of what I call, you know, stock images. So if I ever need access to stock images for social media posts, I use Pexels and Unsplash. I've got Photoshop Mix, um, Snapseed, and Remini. Remini, it's nice photo editing, so I can take a very pixelated photo and it'll turn it into a very nice, clean-looking professional shot. So Remini is that beautiful AI app to do that. So if you want to download that, go ahead and download that. Um, and then let's see what else. Productivity. I've got Google Drive, Files, Fiverr, you know, Keynote, Pages, Numbers. Let's see, Zoom. Photo Widget. You know, I do have a photo widget that I'll show you in a second. Utilities. Basically what comes with, with the phone. I also I have AdGuard, which is really nice because it basically blocks ads when you're on Safari. So it's very nice to have. Uh, then some T-Mobile apps, Xfinity, Ring, Entertainment. Like I said, I am a movie buff. Uh, so I go to the movies a lot. I'm streaming a lot of content. So I've got AMC Theaters, Adam, Disney Plus, Epidemic Sound, which is an app where I get all the sound for my YouTube videos. Uh, Fandango, Hulu, all the good stuff. I've pretty much got it. Let's see. This is my other section, Apple Books, Muslim Pro, Pray Watch, Reddit. Reddit's wonderful. If you don't like Reddit, I don't like you. I like Reddit. So <laughs> stocks, translate and weather, food and drinks. I've got pretty much use all of these. Sadly, I use all of these. Shopping, typical apps, Amazon, Zara is where I, you know, it's my go-to place to buy clothes. So got that. Best Buy is like my toy store. You know, I love technology and gadgets. So have Best Buy on there. Um, travel, I've got the, we have an Audi e-tron in the house. So I've got the My Audi app. I've got Uber, Revel. So whenever I'm traveling, these are the apps that I use. Finance, I've got Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, Wells Fargo, Zelle. All right, these are my finance apps. So basically that covers app library. Once again, I don't use all of these apps. If it's not on my home screen, I'm usually not using it. So this is basically what's on my phone. Then you go into the, the side screen where you have all the widgets placed. I've got a picture of me and my girlfriend up top. Then I've got the batteries widget that shows me how much battery I've got on my Apple Watch, my Apple Pencil, iPad, AirPods, whenever they're nearby. We have another Tesla at home, the Model Y. So I've got the Model Y widget right there. Then I've got my reminders widget. So it, so it reminds me of all the tasks that I need to get done. And what's cool with iOS 17 now is that you can literally interact with the widgets. So if there's something I've completed, like I did my car wash, I can just tap that and it'll disappear. So that's very nice to you know have. It's a great functionality. Then I've got the pray watch widget. So like I said earlier, it's a widget that shows me all the timings for all the prayers. 
then I've got the news widget. So that's basically what I have on my side screen. All right, guys, so this basically wraps up my what's on my iPhone video. So if there's any cool apps that you think I should have, comment below and let me know. I'm gonna be doing another video called what's on my iPhone accessories edition. So stay tuned for that. And if you have any questions about my phone, my experience with it, obviously you can just comment below and always ask me. Subscribe to my channel, stay tuned for more content, and I'll see you next time.